What's going on guys? I'm gonna start off this video with a couple of small stories. So more than a decade ago, a friend of mine was shooting a short film, an action sequence in Los Angeles in an alley and they were using prop guns and somebody called the police and they didn't have a permit so the police showed up, guns drawn, put everybody on the ground. Eventually they were able to explain it away but that doesn't change the fact that it ruined their shoot for the day and a few of the people involved didn't want to finish it because they were afraid of repercussions. More recently, in the last year or so, a friend of mine was shooting a short film here in Los Angeles and they had a drone shot planned. They did not have a permit nor did they have an exception from the FAA to fly a drone. Side note, it's almost impossible to fly a drone commercially here in Los Angeles without an exception because there are so many airports and so much air traffic that it becomes a hazard. Anyway, the police were called on them as well. Now fortunately for them, they had the drone on the ground, the shot was done before the police arrived and ran them out of there. So I thought it would be good to talk about when is it legal to shoot on the street and when do you have to have a permit? Everywhere you could possibly shoot has different rules and laws that apply to shooting in that area. Whether it's in a city, in the county, in the state, it doesn't matter. There are rules and if you don't follow those, you could be asking for a big load of trouble. Now, I'm not talking about prison trouble, but it could cost you your production. So you don't wanna put yourself in a situation where you end up with a ticket or somebody gets arrested or you get your equipment confiscated. And if you're familiar with the process of renting gear, you know that you definitely don't want your gear to end up in gear jail. But let's take a look at a few of the major municipalities where productions do go on and we'll take a look at the rules. In Los Angeles, there's a company known as Film LA that handles all the permits for the majority of Los Angeles. Here is the map that Film LA provides for filmmakers and it shows all of the areas that it covers as well as some of the areas it doesn't cover here in Los Angeles County. You pretty much have to have a permit to shoot anywhere in Los Angeles. Technically, even to shoot inside your own house, you do need a permit. Yeah, that means YouTubers. Most likely you're not gonna draw a lot of attention to yourself if you're walking around with a selfie stick and a camera. Basically the rule states that if you are shooting something non-commercial like a wedding, a graduation, a birthday party, you don't need a permit. Anything aside from that technically needs a permit. What are some of the benefits to having a permit? Well, if you are doing anything like a stunt or a fire or you want to do gunplay like I talked about in the beginning, it's a great idea not to have the police show up with guns drawn because they don't know what's going on. According to Film LA, the LAPD is very film friendly and the benefit to having them know that your shoot is going on is so that if somebody complains that there's a guy running down the street with a shotgun, they don't have to show up with a SWAT team. They can tell the person on the phone there's a film shoot going on, etc. Um, generally, Film LA will go around to the neighborhoods. They will hang flyers on the door saying, on these dates, during these times, you may hear loud noises. You may see pyrotechnics. You may see water being sprayed. You may see all of these different things that might make a homeowner or a resident in that community a little bit nervous. So I know you're still hanging on to what I said about needing a permit to shoot inside your own house. And technically that's true because if you're bringing a film crew into your neighborhood to shoot, you're gonna have crew parking up and down the street, you're gonna have potentially a box truck set up where you're pulling gear off the back, lights, reflectors, all kinds of equipment. I know some people think that permits are just another way for the city to get money. It also it looks out for the communities that it represents. If you're a homeowner or a resident in those communities, you definitely don't want a lawless film crew just occupying most of your street most days of the week. There is some benefit to it for sure. So how does LA stack up against other major metro areas in the country that also have a good deal of filming going on? So let's take a look at New York City and see how they address the rules for film permits. So you can see it here on the website, the Office of Film Theater and Broadcasting issues permits to productions filming on location in the city of New York and provides free police assistance, free parking privileges, and access to most exterior locations free of charge. Not all film activity requires a permit. So you can see already that they have a jump on Los Angeles in terms of accessibility. So no permit. Productions using a handheld camera, camera on a tripod, handheld props, and or handheld equipment 
that are not exerting exclusive use of city property. So this is kind of important. What they're saying here is that you can shoot in front of the store on the sidewalk with a tripod, with your camera, as long as people can continue to use the sidewalk in a normal fashion, you do not need a permit. It goes on to say here, you are not using prop weapons, prop vehicles, stunts, actors in police uniform, and not requesting parking privileges for production vehicles. This means grip trucks, makeup trailer, wardrobe trailer, dressing rooms. So as long as you don't need to block city parking with those, you do not need a permit. But let's see what kind of shoots actually require a permit. A $300 non-refundable application fee does apply. Productions with equipment packages, production vehicles requesting parking privileges, excluding personal cars, minivans, SUVs, and pickup trucks, asserting exclusive use of the city property, prop weapons, prop vehicles, actors in police uniform, or stunts on a set must apply for a required permit. Insurance is also required. So as you can see, as long as you're not bringing in a bunch of production equipment and you can do everything with available light and some modifiers like a bounce board, you can get away with it with no problem. So New York is very film friendly in that respect. So let's take a look at San Francisco's rules. Their website says, a production permit is required whenever you're shooting on city property for commercial or non-commercial purpose except for private family use. This is very similar to Los Angeles with regard to the commercial versus non-commercial use, but it goes on to say, you do not need a permit to film on city property if you're filming a breaking news story with appropriate press credentials or taking a photograph for personal use you're filming entirely on private property. For example, if you're filming inside a private restaurant, you will not be taking any exterior shots of the private space, nor taking out parking or filming in front of the restaurant. You do not need a permit. Don't tell anybody in San Francisco that I went to film school with. So essentially it's very similar to Los Angeles in that respect. Another major metro area that they do a lot of film production in is Atlanta, Georgia. And their website says, though the Office of Entertainment keeps records of filming work happening in Atlanta, a permit is only required for certain filming activities. A filming permit may be required if your project includes any of the following. Filming on public property, filming requiring setup of barricades, street closures, lane closures, or sidewalk closures, nighttime filming in an industrial area with the use of an outdoor light, use of temporary structure such as a stage, use of intellectual property belonging to the city, pyrotechnics or other explosives, smoke effects, water effects, or flame effects, display of real or artificial firearms, vehicle chases or crashes, dangerous stunts, use of any equipment that may cause damage to public property, the use of wild animals regulated by law. A filming permit is not required for filming on public property while exercising First Amendment rights. So again, the rules in Atlanta are very similar to that of Los Angeles Angeles and San Francisco, giving New York kind of an edge because you don't need a permit to do smaller scale shoots. But I would at least suggest that you think about more rural areas to shoot in because most small towns don't get a lot of film production and a lot of the people there are super helpful, very gracious, and they just think it's cool that you're doing that. I've shot a lot of projects that were out in the middle of nowhere. Here's some clips. So you can see right away that the landscape offers a lot of production value that you can't get in an urban setting. So should you get a permit? 
Well, you should absolutely use your best judgment. I am not a lawyer. I am not offering legal advice. Don't sue me. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight into permits and whether or not you should use them. Leave some comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.